It's like having a crayon and drawing on your face. This is going to take a very long time. Hello. You like the slowly washed out lighting? It's because we're going to be doing makeup today. And I'm going to be doing three looks you could do for Halloween if you wanted to. I'm going to be doing none of these looks for actual Halloween, but I kind of want to do this makeup because I think it would be very fun. So if you like this video while you're watching, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and we're going to go ahead and get started. So you don't have to use the exact products that I'm going to use, obviously, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be using. So the first look I'm going to be doing is Dusk from the Hex Girls. I love Scooby-Doo. This one, we'll see how it goes, you know? I haven't even tried this, so it could be a disaster, but we're going to do it using the... Urban Decay Born to Run palette, because it is, I talked about it in my fall palettes, it's very smoky, as well as this Essence Metal Shock Green Lipstick, uh, some primers and stuff like that, but a lighter foundation than I usually use. I actually think this is probably a closer match, just most of my foundations are a little warm. This is Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. And I'm also going to be using that concealer because it is lighter than the usual concealer I use. And probably the main star of the show is going to be the NYX Wonder Stick. And we're going to be using just the contour side because it's cooler contour than any of my other stuff. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I start with the eyes. I put eye primer on. So Dusk doesn't have brows, but I am not going for the no brow look. Also don't know how to do the glue trick. Also, I'm like allergic to glue, so I'm just gonna not try to get rid of my eyebrows, so, you know. Uh, none of these looks are gonna have prosthetics because I'm allergic to both latex and adhesive glues. So, yeah, these are gonna be like all makeup looks and they're going to be relatively simple. So, yeah, we're gonna get started. So, I'm mainly going to be using the black and the green. I'm not showing you, of course. Um, all of these have a little bit of a sparkle. I think I'm going to put down Weekender just to put the black on top of it because I'm a little scared. I don't like using black shadow often because it is, it can be difficult. And I'm going to have the concealer here in case I need to uh, get rid of some stuff. So now that that's there, and I always like to do mine as first, so that if I make a mistake, it's up there. So we're going to try to use it with this brush that came with the Jackiana palette. And I kicked up the black, so let's see how it goes. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm very far away from you. I'm going to put a little bit of white on the top. I have a sparkly white in this palette. I'm literally going to put it over where the black is. The problem is, it always looks like I have more eyeshadow right here because I have a freckle. So it looks like I have just a smudge of eyeshadow when I don't. Alright, so I'm going to do the other eye. Now I will say, this black is actually very easy to use. Like, I got a very clean application here that I did not expect. I think I kind of want to push it out a little bit more. Um, and I'll shape it for sure, but I just want to kind of make a kind of wingish shape when I, I'll, which I will, um, clean with, what is it called? My solar water makeup remover, that thing. I'll start with the brush. I'm gonna use this big brush. Yeah, um, it's from Real to Nice, doesn't really matter. So I'm using this, where is it? Wanderlust, I don't know, this doesn't matter. 
I'm using Vigena. It's like dark green. Hopefully this looks good. Oh yeah, this green is amazing. It's like obviously this is extremely messy and it looks kind of crazy, but I will clean it up. But I think this is gonna look kind of cool. So I'll change my shirt, but I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to add. I'm gonna have to like extend it a little bit because it's not as long. But I'm gonna wait until after foundation to do that. So I actually think that this is closer to my actual shade. It's more neutral than like more of my other foundations that I like better. I do like the this shade better than any of the foundations that I have. But you know, we'll see. Um, and I don't like full coverage, but I think that's where we need to aim for for this one. So I'm going to do it with the sponge and she's casing sitting on my own shirt. And do you like how the my makeup light just washes everything up? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to let that sit there for a second before I put my stuff on because I want to do the contour. She doesn't have a very strong cheekbone, but she has a very strong jaw. So I'm going to draw along here. And we'll see how that kind of looks. She also has a very defined forehead, which is great because this is where I put my contour anyway. So I kind of just want to get that in here. And I'm going to start with this. I'm probably also going to put some on the other edge of my face. So this is kind of, I mean, this is what contouring means, but it's best for carving out face shapes that are not actually yours. finally powder this mess. Really, that's all I'm doing with my face and it horrifies me because <laughs> I like to do at least something here and some blush and highlight and that, that's it though. But we're gonna finish the eyes. I'm actually gonna do try to put the green under the eye and see what that looks like. How I look, y'all? I'm just kidding. It's, I mean, it's not done. But seriously. This is so dark. <laughs> and it's gonna get more intense. We're taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Gold Light on Eye Pencil in Perversion. We're having an Urban Decay day. They say that I'm doing this because I feel like Dusk and actually Luna 
do not get any appreciation. It's all about Thorn, who is awesome, but nobody else gets any appreciation. So I'm gonna spray myself. It's time for the lipstick. Let me get a sip of this first. Oh, I love this lipstick. This is the final look. What do y'all think? I mean, my hair is a little too long, so that's for starters. This is what I would look like if I didn't dark makeup, you know, when I was going through my emo phase. When I was in middle school. I have no hair. Ooh, I have really cute little buns. Anyway, this is the end of this look, so thank you guys for watching this, and I will come at you with another look later. So, this is my preliminary makeup today. I actually really liked how it turned out. I will leave the details below. I'm enhancing the look, essentially, because I'm building it on. I'm going to try to do a, a picture of it, but, uh, bat freckles, and then I'll probably put a different lip on afterwards. I went kind of crazy on the blush because it looked very blushy, but I think I'm going to, looks like they have shadow on their cheeks, so I'm going to actually put purple shimmery shadow. I'm going to take my highlighter brush actually and see what I can do here. Add more on here. I'm going to take the shade Grape Pop. It's this shimmery purple on my highlight brush. Yeah, it's packed on and I'm going to just like add that all the way down here. And it's actually going to go over the nose, which makes me nervous because my nose is always looking crazy anyway. So let's make my nose purple. I'm going to see if I can get this to kind of like blend, but like. Because obviously I have a light shade on my face, like an eyeshadow going over my face. But if I can get this to look a little stark on my nose... Yeah, I don't want it to be as bright. So, here we are with that. I'm going to need my other eyeliner, I realize I don't have out. We look at the bat wings. So that was my attempt at that, and you know what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to fill it in with the Urban Decay one, but I'm just going to do the other eye now. Alright, so this eye looks better. This is not looking good uh... Now I'm going to draw bats on my face. So this is where it gets something, because I, uh, how do I draw a bat? A little head, a little circle. See, my bat freckles are like just giant ass bats because they're very large. I'm sorry. This one is huge. <laughs> okay. I'm actually, let me see. I want to do one on my nose, but I actually kind of want to do one in purple. But I want to see if it will do anything with a little purple on it. A purple. Purple on the head. A little sparkle head. Not really, it's not doing anything. We tried our best with the baddie bats, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a different lip on. 
or purple lip on, and it's going to be the Bare Minerals Flawless Matte in whatever the shade is. What do we think we need? We need something else? We need a gloss or something? I think we need something else going on here. Let's see what we can grab. I grabbed this Too Faced Angel Tears lip topper. Let's see what this does for us. Oh uh, yeah. Nice sparkle. This is the second look. I tried it. You know, let me know what you think. If you want to do this, maybe actually make them look my freckles. But you know, this is hard. Especially like, if, if you have like a root, I feel like the easiest thing to do would be like an eyeliner like this, but like a, one of those really small ones. Maybe a brow pencil too. But if you have a creamier brow pencil, not like a, a waxier brow pencil, but a creamier brow pencil. Some of these turned out fine. Some of these are better than others. I mean, the giant one I think looks the best, but it is what it is. So this is using Maybelline Soda Pop Palette and the Urban Decay 24 7 Glen and Eye Pencil. Use whatever shades in your eyes you wanted. I just wanted to do like a purpley look. So this is it. And my camera's dying, so I will meet you again for look three. I've been speaking for a minute and my mic was off. That's nice. So I'm saying today I'm doing the Bride of Frankenstein look in which I have to do black eyebrows with my eyeliner pencil. Also, what is going on here? Is it okay? What I was saying was that uh, this look is predominantly in the hair, but I'm not doing any of the hair. I think I explained that already. So we're just going to be doing the makeup look of this. Her eyebrows are wild. I have pretty bushy eyebrows and she has pretty straight eyebrows so um you know what I'm gonna try to conceal a little bit and see what this does there are ways that she can completely erase your eyebrows it kind of goes with glue and stuff like that but I am allergic to loose adhesives also, I'm going to be wiping this off immediately. Looks great already. It's not gonna do much. It's like you get glue and then get rid of it, essentially. Also, this is not a super full coverage concealer, but at least we'll do something. But hopefully with the black, I'll be able to shape it. But it kind of goes like... It starts with a huge angle here, huge arc, and they go all the way to the hair. The problem with doing this with this particular eyeliner is that it's very creamy. I'm going to just get a Q-tip because this is wild. So I would have figured she would have had something dark, but it, she literally just has white on her eyes. So this would be pretty easy. I'm going to use two things. I know I don't typically don't use two palettes because I wouldn't say to do that, but this Norvina palette has a amazing white right here. So I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to put something sparkly over it. Thank you for making noise. Appreciate it.
I have my white on, I'm going to use this shade called Sea Salt from the Retro Paradise palette. As usual, so she has very pronounced cheekbones. Second, I'm going to go ahead and powder. Get that a little blush. She does have blush. She, she may be dead, but she's still feminine. And then I'm going to go back to the eyes. And we're going to finish the eyes. Not too much. Just a little. Wait, what? Her forehead kind of red, too. So we'll put some blush on the forehead. But I usually do that. We will roll in the nose. No highlight. But we're gonna finish the eyes. I'm gonna use the same thing. Now she has a super bunched lashes, so I will get that saw, but I don't have that. So we're gonna work with what I have. I need the glue. So let me get that. Yeah, the only lashes I have left are, are Double Double Wispies, so I don't know which eye this is. Let me see. Left. Okay. So yeah, definitely use a different lash style. This is the one I ended up keeping. Um, okay, bye. You need to throw this pair away, that's for sure. But we're going to do the scars. And then the lips. So, Bride only has the scars on the bottom of her face. And they go in kind of a zigzag. So they go, what is that picture I just looked at? Yeah. So it goes from above her ear in her hairline. So it goes... And... From the bottom, back of her neck, meets in the middle, like this. She has one on this side, and it goes from her ear, so it goes down like this. So, that is that. And now we're going to do the lips, which I mean the last part of this. So I'm using the e.l.f. Sheer Slick in Cherry. She's wearing red. See that's insane though, that when they put this in color that she has red lips because it looks, it looks, they look black. So picture me with one of those crazy wigs, and I think this is what you would get. Now, I don't think this is my finest work, but this is kind of my uh, attempt, so I think I'm going to title this video Attempting Costume Ideas. I uh, I tried. This is just not tends to be a look for me, but um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to rip this off my face. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for supporting all the Halloween content. And I will actually have some Christmas content coming very shortly. I appreciate you all. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10.45 a.m. With certain bonus videos on Sunday. I love you all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.